let's uh, let's embark and get this crazy electric guitar out of our ears. Welcome back, one and all, to Slay the Spire Downfall. They am checking out the newest addition to this mod, the Collector, with her Torchhead minions, who are extra cute here, carrying the Collector's throne. Where's the big bird skull, man? This little chair is pathetic in comparison. So in the Downfall mode mod, excuse me, you can play as uh, one of the many different bosses in Slay the Spire. There's now nine different characters that you can play in Downfall mode. And the premise is that you're a villain. You move from the top of the spire down to the bottom, and you must face the heroes of the spire as your bosses. In addition, you'll encounter different events along the way, events that uh, allow you to leverage your villainous nature and harm the innocent for your own benefits. So what is the collector's gimmick? We start with five essences. Spend essences on adding cards to your collection. There's actually a separate deck of cards for the collector. The collector has her basic starting deck. Well, look at these beautiful strike cards. It's like a torch, I guess. Deal six damage, four strikes, four defends. Pretty typical. You are mine is actually one of our starting cards. Apply weak, vulnerable, and doom. Doomed creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. Then doom is removed unless the creature is afflicted with both weak and vulnerable. Interesting. So 12 damage once or 12 damage every turn as long as they're both weak and vulnerable. Very interesting. And fuel the fire as the pyre keyword. You have to exhaust a card in hand and pay the energy cost to play the card. So as an additional cost, exhaust a card. Next turn, gain two reserve. Energy stored across turns. So we start with one reserve. One storable energy. Interesting. It's a miracle with extra steps, I guess. And notably, the Collector has relatively low max health here. So how do we want to start out our... Uh, as usual, of course, we're playing on Ascension 20. This is my first time ever playing this character. We're going to do Ascension 20 anyway, because that's just how I roll. By the way, thank you to Boom Boom for the six months of subitude in advance. Appreciate it. There's definitely a lot of keywords in uh, in Downfall. I mean, with, with nine different characters, they definitely had to get somewhat creative for the mechanics of, you know, the next one in order to avoid just being the same as the previous ones. So uh, you kind of get more and more convoluted. I think that's what happened when they were designing Hexaghost, too. Hexaghost is definitely a little convoluted. Let's see. Do we have any easy, like, elites? I could maybe get a one-hit point elite here. If we go through a bunch of events, that's always fun. Might just take a bit of a max health up. We'll go... Definitely want to get these two elites, I think. Look at all these fires here. Fire, 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 fire. Juicy. That's what I want. And the rest site before the boss is good, too. Uh, let's see here. And we could even abort, right? Well, not if this is the event. Five max health is not a lot, but when you only have 58, yes it is. Maybe we just go for a ton of upgrades. Something like this. We get one, two, three, four, five upgrade, act one. That's as, that's the maximum number of rest sites you could find in act one. Yeah, let's take a max health up. Heck it. All right. So let's see if we can observe how this all works. So we have one reserve here. So am I, allow am I allowed to go strike, strike, defend, defend? Yes, and the reserve gets spent last. Kind of cool, actually. Can't play defend and you are mine. Okay, so the you are mine is, is really expensive, I think, in part to, to be an intended spending of your reserve here. 
He'll just go two strikes. And we'll fuel the fire with the slimes. Yeah, additional cost. <laughs> so now we have five energy. We can go, you are mine, strike, strike. Doom creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. So that should mean it dies before it acts. Let's just defend one time, just in case it doesn't. Dong, the calling bell. So we can, sp we gain one essence and then we can spend some of that essence to collect the enemies that we just killed and add them to our collection as the collector. So you're collecting all the enemies of the spire with each enemy having a different effect. So Spike Slime says, one cost, gain eight block. It's mega ethereal, which means it exhausts, I think, no matter where it is. When you're attacked this turn, deal damage back. So gain eight block and three thorns. Or Acid Slime. Add one random zero cost card to your hand. That sounds nice. So these are added not to our deck directly, but to our collection, which is a separate deck of cards the collector keeps. Uh, my understanding is that you draw one card from your collection each turn, in addition to your base draw. Did they did they rephrase Mega Ethereal? I'll have to take a look at that. And we also got a regular card. So apparently we've got full unique art for uh for collector. Torch bearer. Just gain six temporary HP, so one one block that lasts forever. Iron bark kindling. Inanimate carbon rod. This is unplayable. If you exhaust it, get block. Okay. Or Sucker Punch. That's that's definitely Sucker Punch. Hmm. Interesting to see that card here. That is good because of the Afflicted keyword, right? We want sources of both weak and vulnerable. It might not uh, be that they come at the same time on a lot of collector cards. We might have to separately apply the weak and the vuln. Let's grab Sucker Punch. It's the only decent attack card here, after all. And I'm going to grab the Acid Slime, not the Spike Slime. So we'll add that to our collection and keep three essence. Okay, that was neat. Let's see how this continues to go. So we should draw the Acid Slime. Yeah, we draw our five basic cards and the Acid Slime. So it says Mega Ethereal cards move to the exhaust pile when played and at the end of the turn, no matter where they are. So yes, whether you play it or not, it's going to the exhaust pile. And there's no trickery you can do to change that. Can't put it back into your draw pile. Can't discard it or anything like that. Does every enemy have a card? My understanding is yes. Dragon's Trove. Draw two cards from your collected pile. Okay, but there's none left to draw. So we're going to want to collect more things, it sounds like. That did give me an energy, though. So, uh, cool, I guess. I guess we'll just do a bonk, bonk, full block. Kind of a basic combat. We don't need to get too fancy against enemies that have less than 15 health each, you know? Looks like I do have to take a little bit of damage, though. They both attack me for eight. How rude. Should have played Fuel the Pyre there, actually, to gain one more energy. Or Fuel the Fire. I want to call it the Pyre. So two Laos. I guess we can collect Laos twice, huh? Gain one Blur, so retain your block for one turn. Next time you receive unblocked attack damage, gain seven blocks. So you get Curl Up, and then you get to keep the block. That's kind of cool, actually. Invigorate. Improve the damage of your next attack by four. Exhaust a card when played. And then next turn, gain that effect again. Interesting. Rotwood Kindling. So the Kindling cards are all cards that are meant to be exhausted. Apply two Vuln to all enemies when exhausted. 
Interesting. Or black bindings. Apply two weak, then apply two doom for each unique debuff on the enemy. That upgrades to four doom per. Interesting. Each unique debuff. I like the idea of applying tons of debuffs, says Collector. This seems like a character that might be really good with sadistic nature. Let's try out black bindings here. And I'm going to leave those lice on the ground where they belong. The Cleric! A strange blue humanoid with a glimmering helm approaches you with a huge smile. Upon realizing just what you are, the creature's beaming grin swiftly turns to a look of pure terror. M monster The figure shouts, turning around to flee. Punch! To gain 50 souls or intimidate him to remove a card from the deck. Would love a card remove. I guess we'll remove a strike? I guess we'll remove a strike. Cleric help! Cleric help! The creature says as you approach menacingly. A cold blue flame envelops your body and dissipates. Immediately after, the cleric flees. Mini curse. Apply one week in Volm. And then doom them. Get rid of defend. Then sucker punch. And black bindings. <laughs> Just throws a net at them. So they get four doom. Oh, we can see their card too. Cultist. Megatherial pyre. Gain one strength at the start of the next three turns. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, the mod has fully custom art. Not AI art either, as far as I can tell. Just beautifully done. You are mine. So we can take that cultist card if we want. Feel my pain. Whenever you exhaust a card, a random enemy loses three health. I love it. Offensive feel no pain. Start your turn, gain one reserve. Pyromancy. Ooh. That's quite good, actually, for one cost. Yeah, that's a that's a really good energy source. Forgery. Deal late damage. Choose one of two cards from your collected pile to gain a copy of. In your hand? Hmm. Yeah, more energy is definitely kind of cool. Like a better Berserk. Although, notably, Berserk is zero cost. So your net positive energy the turn after you play it. That's not true for Pyromancy. So, and in fact, this is one of those cards where the, the payoff takes more than one turn, which is definitely a tough sell. But the fact that you can retain it is very good. Let's grab it. We'll have to look for some high-cost cards to uh, to use it with. But I think it'll be good. We also get several upgrades before the first Elite, so I think we're okay here. I'm not planning on charging into an Elite immediately. Hiya! Yeah, so it's not exactly exciting here. The fact that we can also use the Reserve to play the Pyromancy is pretty good, too. One of you are mine here. Very 
You're gonna die today, chump. Wait, what? Dude was gonna murder me. Thieves. You take five less damage from attacks this turn. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna click on that one. Um, yeah, that seems really good against birds and such. Kind of like a little piercing whale, but not quite. Mystery weaving. Zero cost, ten block, less block for each other card in your hand. If the enemy is afflicted, play the top card of your draw pile. This is an attack that adds the exhausted card's damage to the damage the attack does. That's kind of cool. This extricate's quite good, too. Just straight up deal nine is not bad. And uh, if the enemy's afflicted, you get a free card play, which is sometimes good. Let's take extricate. We definitely want a little bit more offensive power right now to be able to get through this elite without any more card rewards. We are going to... Oh, you can remove a collected card and gain 40 souls. Interesting. Huh. Uh, the ruby key... is only strength during boss fights, right? Or is it boss and elite fights? I don't remember. I think it's just boss fights. Since the change. Just boss. Yeah, okay. So we don't want to get the ruby key for a while. Pyromancy discount's not bad. We'd like to get a damage upgrade. Sucker Punch is okay. Let's upgrade Sucker Punch. Mummified Hand. Awesome. When you play a power card, a random card in your hand becomes zero cost. Feels oddly appropriate for Collector. Definitely gives us good reason to grab lots of powers. We find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. This light carries an immense power. Get one curse for three random upgrades. Hmm. Mixed feelings on that. I don't think so. I don't think so. We're already getting a lot of upgrades. I don't actually need that many more. And I don't want that curse. No, thank you. Um, do I need to upgrade Extricate here is my question. Not sure about that. This upgrades to gain another energy. That's kind of big, actually. Or Doom Purr is okay. 15 Doom on your mine is actually pretty substantial. Considering that it gives Weak and Vuln, you can consider this to be 6 additional damage. Does Doom go through block? I think so, yes. Actually, what's the phrasing on Doom? Lose HP, yeah. They, that, that would go through block then. And that would also be a status. Doom is a status that goes through block. Pyromancy upgrade is minus one cost immediately. I'm, I'm considering that. I think I'm going to upgrade your mine first. And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Arctic Mists. Did you hear about the collector's wedding? They were a beautiful bride and doom. Yeah, that's 
that's not gonna do anything this turn. I think we just play Pyromancy. No refunds, Twishet. If Pyromancy makes your mind free, maybe we do that. What's the difference between Doom and Poison? Doom goes away entirely at the beginning of the next turn, unless... The enemy is afflicted, meaning the enemy has both weak and vulnerable. Hmm. Let's get rid of Strike here. And then wait one more turn. We have lots of banked energy now. Even more. Perfect. Okay, so get rid of this as well. Wake up! I have 10 energy. Okay, we are going to lose black bindings here. No, you are mine for free? What a shame. Might also want to consider a skill potion. I'm okay this turn. And now, mini curse in your mind. This is going to result in one very hosed Legavul in here. Okay, I'm willing to use the skill potion, though. We need some block here. Upgrade the collected pile. Add the enemy's collected card into your hand. All enemies lose two strength. That's quite, that's quite good, actually. Your next collected card this turn is played twice. Let's take the block. So this has to be played, right? Higher keyword means, yeah, you have to exhaust a card for it to do the thing. Keep that uh, doom going. So as long as the enemy is weak and vulnerable, the doom will not uh, decrease. In fact, we can keep stacking doom. So now Legavulin takes 30 damage per turn, which means it's all over for the egg. Cool fight. A very cool fight. 45 doom. And I think I want to collect Legavulin here. All enemies lose two strength is definitely a thing. Juicy bracelets here, too. It matters not. Add two to all enemies, weak and vulnerable. Holy moly, that is a really good card. Eight or upgraded 11 block. Stash away. Gain block X times. Next turn, gain X reserve? Oh my goodness. Hold on, I might not be able to take it. Matters not. If stash away is here. That's just unlimited block, and then get all the energy back. I assume that uh, X cost spends all your reserve. I guess we'll find that out. Let's grab this. Does it matter not applying weak and vuln? Only if the enemy is already weak and or vulnerable. Is the phrasing I understood there. Okay, we have another elite coming up. Don't think we need to rest. We should be good with this potion. Um, we might want to upgrade our damage card, Extricate. Although realistically, I'd prefer to upgrade Pyromancy or Stash Away for the long term. I do think we're going to need some more damage, so let's make our better damage card. Got extra upgrades, we should use them. All enemies lose to strength. Oh, strength down is a new type of debuff, too. Neat.
Hmm. So I want to do something like... Sucker Punch. Black Bindings. Lagavulin. Strip uh, Strength off two of these enemies. Let's do that. Play defend with the reserve. But take five less damage from attacks. Okay, that just straight up lowered their damage intent. So three and five. That's very good. That is basically just piercing whale. Dodgy. Just seems like piercing whale. I knew that was going to make strike free. Okay, that's fine. You gotta die. I could play extricate, but there's no need to. Now you are also mine. I'd say this is going okay. Haven't needed to use the attack potion so far, although maybe we could have at some point. Good fight overall, I gotta say. I'll take it. Wait. Ow. This is still mostly fun. Probably need to rest one time going into our uh, Act 1 boss, actually. So the sentries give deal eight damage, apply one week, repeat if there is a sentry in your exhaust pile. So you actually do want to grab as many of them as you can, I guess. Ooh, brass tacks are good. Start combat with two metallicized, two block per turn. I'll take that. Steal the enemy's block. That's actually quite good against the downfall bosses who generate block on a very regular basis. Horde is draw two and retain. Let me guess. This upgrades to draw three. Does. That seems pretty good. Horde plus I like. And we do want card draw because we have so much energy, right? Hmm. We might need I'll take that though. I'm, I am worried about this uh, enemy. Wow, that goes to 1414. I'll take that. I won't take a sentry, though. We're going to upgrade. Maybe I want to upgrade this. Yeah, let's do that. Collector is still in beta. That's right. I I'm sure some of the cards will see balance changes. Uh, in fact, this very stream might affect some of those. It could happen. I just trust in your mind into extricate. That seems unwise. We should probably do your mind defend. Take two. I'll take that. 
Six damage, apply one weak, double the enemy's weak. Zero cost attack that requires a, an exhaust. Everyone gains nine block. Apply four doom to enemies with doom. Or feel my pain is back. Is this upgrades to four? Yeah, because it's obviously the, the inverse of... Hmm. Not really about any of these cards for where we are now. Quick rundown of this character's mechanics. Basically, as we kill enemies, we can capture them by spending a resource called Essence. And then we have a special deck of collected enemy cards that we can use in combat alongside our usual set of cards. Oh yeah, since we have a pop, since we have Mummy Hand, Feel My Pain is a little bit better. Only a little bit though. I actually didn't realize that Sash Away exhausted when played initially. Still pretty good. I actually don't like any of these very much. I'm going to skip them all. I'd much rather just draw the cards I already have. So, we're fighting the Hermit. Oh my god, he's got a sniper rifle. What the heck? What? Who gave that guy a sniper rifle? Yeah, hunting rifle, more accurately. He's got a gun. So this boss is uh, fighting us with a deck of actual hermit cards. Although it, it's it's kind of an illusion. This this boss will always draw the exact same cards in the in the exact same order. Uh, so it's it's more functionally identical to a, a regular spire boss, but it, it matches up with the cards that are in the game, which is quite cool. Uh, this enemy has Concentrate as long as it hasn't taken 10 damage. You'll note this boss also has Actual Relics kicking in. So Oracalcum and Brass Tacks are going to provide 8 block per turn. That's where I'll Take That comes in. Although we, of course, drew I'll Take That on turn 1. Of course we did. Hmm. And there's also a Cowboy Louse. Oh, I see. Adapt. So this is the card the Hermit gives. At the start of your turn, you can exhaust a card to gain 8 block. Oh my goodness. How do I like the Louse's hat? It's gorgeous. But yeah, there's there's definitely a lot uh, happening on screen. Part of that is the Collector going on. Like when I mouse over him, the card appears. That's Collector specifically. But yes, it is definitely a little bit busy. Put one card from your Collected Pile into your hand. Thieves and Lagavulin are both pretty good this turn. Cannot afflict either of them. I'm thinking we may wish to use the attack potion right away. Let's just do that now. Four damage for each collected card played this combat. Interesting. Jaded Jabs. Gain shivs equal to the pyred card's cost plus one. I guess the ember lets us use green pyre locus, right? Seems fine. So we want to do 10 damage to Hermit, for sure. Cut down on that headshot damage. Let's lower both of their strength, I guess. Eves is also decent this turn. Okay, that's a bit less intimidating. Defend, defend is almost a full block. And I guess we probably want to play I'll take that with our reserve to deal some damage. 
Doesn't look like black bindings is a good idea. And we should probably kill the louse first. Simplify this fight a little bit. Hey, perfect turn for thieves. Lots of small attacks. Unfortunately, that would prevent me from playing your mine. Not much I can do about that until we play Pyromancy. Zero. He's block it. Uh, you need to die. Okay. Rough house. Deal 22 damage. I'll take that. Have some weakened doom. There we go. Easy full block. Use that plated armor too. Two damage. Nice try, nerd. What is this? Ashen Strike, Fuel the Fire, your mine? No, your mine, Ashen Strike, Fuel the Fire. Prevented the dead, dead eye effect too, so the hermit stays at negative strength. Cool. Don't have easy affliction at the moment. We're still lacking the vulnerable part of weak and vulnerable. I guess that's fine. Spend some of this reserve now. Ember have retained. Yes. You know, I think this might just be going okay. Oh, get doom stacked, you nerd. I'll take that. GG. Wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. So we can collect the adept, adapt power from uh, Hermit here. A rare card. At this uh, power that costs three at the start of our turn, we can exhaust a card to gain eight block. It is a very powerful effect. Collector even has cards that want to be exhausted. I think I'll take that. Give me the Adept. Give me the 76 souls. And some rare cards here. Fiendfire. Good old Fiendfire is a collector card. Very powerful. Goodbye. Double the enemy's doom. Or Hoarder's Strike. Play the top card of your collected pile. I like goodbye. Hello, goodbye. I've got a couple ways to apply Doom. I'd love to get a few more. Let's take it. Friend fire. Yeah, you burn all your friends to do damage. Pretty cool. Choose a relic. Sacred bark, astrolabe, calling bell. Interesting. Three classics, no new relics to explain here. Of course, good old get a curse and three relics is always a fun option. I am definitely eyeing transform upgrade three, though. Could find some more debuff or doom cards. Transform. Could just do three strikes, I guess. I guess that's fine. Strikes are not that good anymore. Anymore. 
Bell Curse is an easy exhaust target. That's true. Although it's still a, uh, a drawdown. But yeah, I can see that this character has a lot of ways to exhaust targeted cards, so... Curses don't seem that bad. Den Jurgen Wurgen. Thanks for the three months. Much love from a long-time YouTube watcher. Much love back at ya. Let's go lame, see what we get for new cards. You are needed in the city. With your flame leash. Brain drain. Add the enemy's collected card to your hand. Upgrade it. Oh, nice. Flame lash. Add the pyre to card's damage. Seed of doubt. Apply three doom. Whenever a card is exhausted while this is in your hand, increase its doom by two. Seed of Doubt seems excellent, especially with Goodbye here. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted, was a Doom card. Got lots of low-cost cards now. Interesting. And Thorondor with 40 months, the four metric years. But who watches the Watcher? Got lots of cash, so hitting up a shop is a reasonable idea here. Remember, in downfall mode, the shops are a fight. We have to fight the merchant. And then after the merchant fight, we can get to the shop run by the heart. We have to eventually kill the merchant, I believe, if we want to go to Act 4. Easy lag of Ulan every time. Your wreck nerds. You are doomed. You are mine. And let's play the top card. Why not? Deal one damage five times. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Actually, that's awesome. Get out of the sky, you nerd. They're countered by their own card. Stinky. This is now nine doom. You're doomed. collect birds. We have enough essences for two more cards if we want it. I don't think I want the bird cards. Misdirect. Gain two block. Next turn, gain reserve. Shadow daggers. Nah, I don't think we want any of these. D. Kirby with the eight months of support. And yeah, Doom only sticks around if the enemy is both weak and vulnerable. I'm currently missing the way to get the vulnerable. can get Warped Tongs, upgrade a random card in hand every turn, and there's a shop next floor. That seems kind of good. The Lethargic Weirdo. Artist. Opal did most of the card artwork, but Lethargic Weirdo says, I drew the crummy relic art and chair. Well, thanks for the chair. <laughs> it's no it's no bird skull throne, but it'll do for a collector on the move. Making quality visual assets for a video game is very, very difficult. So feel feel not too bad about your efforts. They they are good. 
Let's take the let's take the warp tongs. Why not? We have to fight the merchant. Oh wait, the merchant has their own card. Add four random colorless cards into your hand that cost zero. I love it. I absolutely love it. Again, I'll take that. You are too early here. Come on. Probably should play You Are Mine on turn one. Hmm. I can do Pyromancy and Adapt. Actually, if I Fuel the Fire, I'll take that. Then... The power has to make either You Are Mine or the other power free. So let's Fuel the Fire Adapt, because you can't, can't Mummy Hand an X cost card. Let's do this. And of course, if we hit the other power, we can just chain play them. This works too. Get this out of here. So that way I can get rid of pain when I draw it. I'll take this. Add six random colorless cards to your hand. Hmm. You don't say. You don't say. I guess we want a master strategy before I play Mayhem. And this will keep your Doom around for longer, too. And then we can double your Doom. Actually, we can do more than that. Oh, I see that's the card. Okay. Well, fair enough. Hmm. So I, we either extricate or we fuel the fire, then seed of doubt, then goodbye. I think I want to extricate. Yeah, that played Bomb again. Awesome. Apply 7 Doom. Double your Doom. Scaling! Cast more Doom! The merchant will flee on this turn, but not before they take a tremendous amount of damage. Oh no. <laughs> not again! Now we're gonna play your mind instead, I think, for 15 more damage. Actually, no, we should we should use merchant. Apotheosis. No, discovery first. This card is exhausted, gain a greater hurting. We don't manage to kill Merchant here. We do 40 plus 40 plus 81, leaving Merchant at 29 hit points after our first meeting. It means we can easily kill the Merchant the next time we meet them, which will probably not be this act, unfortunately. That's okay. Order Strike is back. Prevent the next time Doom would be removed from the target. Yoink. Sacrifice. All right, so now we have access to the merchant, the heart. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a different card. The contract upon pickup gain 10 essence. So we can grab a lot more cards with that. 10 Essence for 157. We're also allowed to release Essences. Oh, that's right, you can release them. 
So if you collect ones that you ultimately don't like, you can get rid of them and you even gain essence. So this is even a net gain of money. Actually, no, it's not a net gain. That would only get me about 120 souls. That's still pretty good. Can't touch this. When you fully block an attack, apply two doom to the attacker. Ooh, I like it. Sign in blood. Then is that explicitly a Binding of Isaac reference? This is three weak and vuln to all enemies. I think we want you are mine because you know it, it synergizes with our character, being our character's literal special move. Also, remove pain. Let's do it. Traveling through the city, your ears are pieced by a, pierced by a shrill, inhuman cry coming from a nearby house. You find an inhabitant of the city trying to silence a small serpentine creature trapped in a cage. Hey, get out of my house, they say. We can gain the young Sneko. Five damage to a random enemy at the start of our turn. To get a bewildered curse. The baby Sneko is very cute. Baby Sneko, you are mine. With a quick intervention, you punch the man, knocking him out cold. You shall call her Clementine. I think we go this way. I'm not sure whether I go fire or elite just yet. Gain four plated armor. Oh, nice. Definitely got some uh, ways to block here. Oh, it's six plated armor, and it's a power. Hype. And I want the weakness here. We're currently blocking for 16. Actually, I don't need the weakness. So we should flame lash to make seeds of doubt even better. And this do more damage. Oh, I see. It deals the damage first, and then buffs. That's not as good as I thought. Look at Clementine hanging out. Kind of visually messing with the perspective of our torch head, though, here. Is she behind the torch head or in front of it? So this curse says, uh, if you play another card, randomize the cost of cards in your hand. Then discard it. I'm just going to play it. Draw a card from your collected pile. Remove Mega Thereal from it. Oh, oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. Look at this card. That's not allowed. That's illegal. <laughs> That's not a card you're allowed to have in this game. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. That's cheating. Remove your block. Actually, no. I'll take that. Are they mine or are they mine? I guess they're both. Bye. It's a satisfying way to win. So this seems like a pretty good card, right? Shelled Parasite. Four plated armor power. I like it. Oh, and can't touch this is back? If I don't have to pay for it, I'll take this too. Bet3S, thanks for the four months of support. 
And once again, the Megatherial keyword essentially means the card is destroyed at the end of the turn, no matter what. No matter what. It's just one more deck, so that's not that big a deal. Hmm. I'll fight the Elite. Wait, the Gremlins have cards too? Add two random gremlin collectibles to your hand. Excuse me, what? All of the powers are in my opening hand. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that was a Sneko. I was like, what? Attacked. I'll take that. And I can add the enemy's collected card. I'll take the block card this turn, I think. Although we're going to your mind the... No, we're already there, actually. Blockwise. So let's try this gremlin thing. What do you got? And three random gremlin collectibles. Okay, so those are the gremlin cards. Cool. You get even more doom. Prevent the next time Doom would fail would uh, be removed. Cool animation there. And that's a unique debuff in and of itself, is it not? Your Doom is here. Also, very easily full block, too. Wow, we got strong somewhere along the way. I think it was probably around the time we got picked up the Astrolabe here. So do I want Gremlin Leader's ability to make a whole bunch of stuff? What is the phrasing on Seed of Doubt? Whenever a card is exhausted while this card is in your hand. I don't think that's likely to be the case. Incense. You cannot gain weak, vulnerable, or frail while you are weak, vulnerable, or frail. How appropriate for Collector. That also seems very good. Uh, my understanding, if I read this correctly, is if an enemy tries to apply weak, vulnerable, and frail to you, only the first one will apply. That's my guess. But I suppose we'll find out. Um, there's not actually that many debuffs thrown at you in downfall mode. So it doesn't block weak on frail and heart, just very notably, because there is no heart. We're fighting Meow. But it will block stuff against Meow. Let's grab another Inevitable Demise. Actually, Oak Brim Kindling looks really good, too. When exhausted, draw cards? Give me that. The heart's on our team now. I don't think I want the Gremlin Leader. I want to collect the... something else. Something else. I wonder if we go this way. That's a lot of rest sites. How many upgrades do I want? Oak Brim Kindling upgrade is good. 
Uh, we said there was no way, reasonable way to get to a shop. That's still correct. Okay, I think I am going to go this way-ish. Cool. Good talk. Good Akabeko. First attack each combat does more damage. I'm not going to complain about that. That would have been really good with the bird essence that deals damage five times. What are your cards? Oh, that's right. Repeat if this is entry in the exhaust pile. Mega Ethereal gain three blur. Oh, I'm taking that card. Three turns of retain your block for one lowly energy. I like it. And upgraded its zero cost, even better. Yes, Doom goes through a block, as you can see. Remove block from the enemies, also. I think. I don't have any reserve. Hmm. I think it's thieves. Black bindings. Then can't touch this, which makes you our mind free. Get him. He's busy. Can you use a collected minion multiple times? Only once per fight, generally speaking. When you apply weak or vulnerable to an enemy, also apply two doom to them. That's probably a yes. Draw two cards from the collected pile. Remove mega... No, no, no. Take Soulforge Plus. Definitely take Soulforge Plus. That card seems badass. Card draw and more. So that collected card went to our collection. Here are all the collected cards so far. In addition to our normal deck of cards, the collector maintains a separate deck of cards called the collection. You get five cards from your normal deck and one card from your collection each turn. All of the collection cards are one use only per fight. Um, unless we use Soul Forge, then they, we can make them multiple use per fight, which is pretty OP. Book of Stabbing. Whenever you deal unblocked attack damage, apply Dooms. The power the Book of Stabbing gives us. That's kind of cool. And Lagavulin is here immediately. Excellent. Excellent. Give me your upgraded power. Three Doom. Goodbye. Thanks for playing that. And that does apply Doom. Let's use this to avoid getting stabbed. And this would apply two weak and presumably eight more Doom. Yeah, that was eight more, I think. So, if I play another card, we muddle our hand. We randomize the cost of all the cards in my hand, and then discard it. Here's the thing. That sounds like a positive. Easy peasy. One cost, your mine. I'll take it. I'll take that. You're mine again. Is 
Is Doom poison? Kind of. Doom is poison, except it will all be removed unless the enemy has both weak and vulnerable. I don't think I want the Book of Stabbings card. Soul Lit Lamp. Upon pickup, gain three essence. At the start of combat, add Ember to your hand. That is really good. So we start combat with this exhaust fodder, essentially. We gain one strength if we exhaust it. Repeat for each unique debuff on the enemy. That's a cool cool attack card. We'll be skipping these. We's gonna be skipping these. Do I want to do the Burning Elite? Kind of. Yeah, let's do it. While sneaking past a group of shrouded figures, one of them approaches you. Please, friend, maybe some coin. Punch him to gain 85 souls and lose health, or rob him to gain a curse, a pride curse, and the relic. Finally, a way to master pride. Now we'll punch him. Should have punched him. You kill the man and harvest his soul. He just killed Burgundy, a figure says, as more beggars just like the one you encountered begin to approach you. You escape, but not without some claws and bites. Man, that was one hell of a punch. Straight up murdered that guy. Red Slaver, his enemy loses 9 strength. Oh, that's the Entangle version. Apply 10 Doom, deal 10 damage, gain 1 strength. I think we take both Red Slaver and Taskmaster from this fight. Oh, this is not a good turn 1, though. This is not good. Can't, uh, touch this? Okay, Mummy Hand at least helps out here. Yikes. It's good, actually. Enemy is afflicted. Play your top card. We're getting entangled. I actually don't hate that. Maybe we should go for the front guy. Oh, got inevitably demised too. Instantly killed. Good times. I didn't even draw any attacks. No problem. No problem. Although I might draw some here. I don't want to brain drain right now. The fact that they have metallicized is going to help me momentarily. Zero damage. I'll be taking that. Choose one of two boss cards and add it to your hand with a retain. Interesting. Super Doom you too, but I would like the pleated armor. Beautiful. That actually wasn't too bad for a Super Slaver fight. Definitely could have been worse. Let's 
So I want the Red Slaver and the Taskmaster both. I think they got pretty cool cards. I'm also going to grab another copy of Oak Brim Kindling. When exhausted, draw cards. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, we have our green key. Gonna get the red key pretty soon. Pay 150 souls for one apparition card. Interesting. That sounds kind of nice. I'll pay you. It's a lot of money. It's a good card, though. Sneko, draw three cards, muddle, aka randomize the cost of your hand. Definitely, uh, questionable. <laughs> goodbye, didn't do anything. Goodbye, goodbye. You do have to pay a soul cost to break the keys. I think it's 50 souls per. I want to say it's 50. My hand has already been muddled. Hmm. All right, then. Reroll it. Uh, and you know what? Do that again. Perfect. Again! I'll take that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Regen potion's good. Still got lots of essence. Finalize. If the enemy dies this turn, heal 8 health. Apply 25. Wait, this is a 4 cost card. Hello? Oh my god. It's strong. Well, that is very strong. Dust Brigand. Why was the collector disqualified from the relay race? She refused to pass the torch. I'm going to skip all that stuff. Uh, let's recall now. I want to be able to break it conveniently next act. The Watcher. Oh, this is the Calm Watcher. Double like water. She's playing turn one. Because of Encaridion? Is that actually random or is it always another like water? Right? That's curious. Seems likely it's always like water. Uh, and it will be intangible on turn six. That's interesting. We've got double your mind turn one. Problem is I can't actually play them both. But surely, uh, well, unless can't touch this makes one free. Hold on. Uh, no, I can't. We should just do regular you or mine then. Which also empowers Seed of Doubt. Play Legavulin and can't touch this. 50 50 chance. 50 50 chance is pretty good. Dang it. So close. All right, well, any Doom we apply is going to stay on Watcher for a long time. That's the good news. And with minus strength, this Watcher won't be that uh, threatening either. Is it a bit, bit late for goodbye? I don't think so. Let's do an early goodbye. Hello, goodbye. When Incense is on 5, she'll play Blasphemy Ragnarok. That's good times. That's good times. Oh, wait. I made a mistake? No, I didn't. That was perfect.
gain three strength. And remove all the weaken I'm about to get. Let's take Invincible. That'll be protection from Blast Me Ragnarok, potentially. We can even hold on to this until we need it. Yeah, so there's the Blasphemy Plus. Currently, we're just walloping. Kind of a warning about what's to come. That's cute. Very cute. So what's the Watcher's card? The Watcher card is just Ragnarok. So we get a Ragnarok Plus. Cute. Let's find out how Flame Lash works. Is this going to add 5 damage or a lot more than 5? It's a Flame Lash. Just 5. Fair enough. Had to know. Definitely had to know. Keep the reserve. Eighteen by no, no, it's blasphemy flying sleeves. She's wishing for strength. Oh no. <laughs> Not the flying sleeves. I'll take that. Yoink. Also, is Thieves going to do what I think it does? Five less damage from attacks this turn. Uh, 18 is the triple damage value, right? So this should reduce it by, like, 15. Yeah. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get destroyed, nerd. Enjoy your inevitable demise. So I'll play Spirit Guardian then. Zero by two. Very cute. Wait, how are you wishing again? That's cheating. You're not allowed to wish for more wishes. Looks like Doom's gonna wear off soon. Maybe you should have played your mind. Just fine here, we can survive, no problem. Thieves plus. Huh. Conveniently, too. Look at all these attacks. How about. Nope. None of that, thanks. I'll take that. GG. So do I want a real Ragnarok? Probably not. Dark Lord form. At the beginning of your turn, play you are mine on a random enemy. Or shooting star. The first time you pyre a card each turn, gain a copy of it that's free. So the first time you destroy a card to play, uh, to, to pay for the cost of another card. It's, these are all awesome. Tim Tim says, my wife started playing Spire and she loves it, but is trying to figure out how to make more cohesive decks. Any advice for a new Slayer that isn't, that's new to deck building games in general? Hmm. I think the first thing to, to probably impose upon would be the, the value of card removals, the value of a slim deck. Every card you add has the opportunity cost of not drawing a different card. 
And so when you add a card to the deck, you kind of need to compare it to the average card in your current deck. It doesn't need to be, uh, it's not good enough for a card to be better than your worst card. It has to be better than your average card in order for it to be a reasonable addition. Uh, also consider the fact that you are going to draw your upgraded cards less frequently if you have more cards. As for trying to build synergies or interactions for a deck, I kind of recommend taking things one step at a time. Start with cards that have immediate utility or impact, provide immediate block or damage, and then look for other cards or powers that synergize with what you've already added. Let's go Dark Lord form, by the way. That's pretty cool. Thought I was going to grab more essences than we did. Pyramids here. There's also the makeshift battery. Gain an energy and add a slimed into your discard pile at the start of each turn. There can be upsides for that. On Ironclad, for example. Or just get more energy, says Slaver's Caller. I think Pyramid's got to be good with Goodbye. There's a lot of things that would make Pyramid pretty reasonable. Take the Pyramid. So we no longer discard our hand at the end of turn. That is in and of itself a very valuable thing. Our Act 3 boss is the Silence. We're going to want to make sure we wipe out the Merchant. And grab the blue key. With rest site afterwards. There's always a guaranteed rest site here. So we can break the keys. Is that the easiest merchant to get to? Yeah. Let's go here then. Take some early events. Why not? Consider using regen potion here and now. Let's do it now. Heal up in this fight. We gotta get rid of this bewildered. It's really bad. Slight issue, though. We do kind of lack cards that do immediate things in some cases now. And that is definitely a slight problem. I'll just be invulnerable, thanks. Sounds good to me. Eight thorns as a power? I'm totally taking that. I guess the base one is five. I'm totally taking that too. Zero cost draw two. Yes, take that. <laughs> the Exploder gives you the bomb. Of course it does. Let's take Spiker Repulsor. Stash away is back. Condemn. Apply Vulnerable and Doom. So there is a common Vulnerable card. Let's take Stash away. Coca Soca Loca with nine months. Thank you for the Prime sub. And the continual cositude. While walking and traversing through the beauty of the beyond, your thoughts suddenly begin to feel very real. I am an echo. Fight yourself to get a rare relic. Or I am gorged. Gain 999 souls cursed with two normality. Don't really want the normalities. I've already got a bad curse. Let's uh, let's fight ourselves. Collector versus... Hey, that's not the full power, Collector. This foe doesn't have a unique collectible yet. Come on. Obvious 
oversight. <laughs> what do you mean they don't have a collectible? No throne, no throne required, by the way. <laughs> That's great. You is mine. Get it doomed. Okay, you seem to be a regular collector, though. Just with less health for some reason. I don't think I understand. Dork Lord form. I don't have a way to keep that going, huh? I'll take that. You might want to stash away? Let's stash away. Some more doom. Okay. We've got to hit it, hit in on ourselves. Well done, us. GG. Find ourselves a lucky horseshoe. Whenever you gain weak, vulnerable, or frail, gain one less, which is doubly interesting with the incense. Maybe a counter synergy, almost. Oh, but the torch heads have uh, collectibles. Add a random torch head call into your hand. Let's grab both of these. Very appropriate for us to grab, grab the torch heads. Scorching Ray. Aren't all the torch head calls powers? I have no idea what the torch head calls are. As you slowly make your way up the twisting pathways, you find yourself at the infamous shifting hallways of the beyond. Oh, we could have gotten an extra merchant. Interesting. You can explore for an event, search the treasury for a relic, or grab a merchant. Relic seems very reasonable. We're about to go to the merchant anyway, so I don't see the need to hunt down the merchant currently. A relic. Oh, and we can take the key instead of the relic? That's cool. It's an actual, like, treasure chest room. It even turned the room on the map into a treasure room. It's cool. So let's see. Torch head call is. Yeah, they're powers. Gain six temporary hit points. Torch head. Gains, gain to block. I mean, torch head gains. Whenever you play an attack, if you have temporary hit points, gain to block. Oh, cool. Interesting. Where's my music gone? Hello? Music, are you there? Keep that. Ow. Classic Darklings. Take a boatload of damage to these nerds, because they are jerks. Apply two doom to a random enemy. Get him. Get 
you are mine. No. Yes, yeah, but without music, Spire definitely, it feels like it's lacking something, that's for sure. There's definitely something missing here. Zoom a collected card. Ooh. Let's grab two of those also. Use up all these essences, proper like. A burning strike. Next turn, gain a copy of the card you exhausted. Hmm. Neat. All right, merchant, your days are numbered. Oh, it's still a little uh, randomized the cost, though. That's cute. Thanks for the money, hee hee. And you better believe I'm taking the merchant's essence. It's got an awesome essence. Skip these cards. Welcome. Oh, the Dolly's Mirror is here. We can duplicate card for mastery purposes, surely. Gelatinous Cube, when you draw a status card, draw one card. That's pretty sweet. Although, uh, Niao specifically adds curses to the deck a lot, not statuses so much. Yes, also would have been very good with that boss relic that we saw. The one that gives you slimes for free. The flavor text on this. Hey, it's stuck to your body. Splorp. Bear crush. Neorgin with 23 months. Yeah, a full game restart will fix audio. We'll be doing that uh, after this run to get uh, Packmaster working anyway. I think we'll have music for the rest of the run, fortunately. What would I want to duplicate? Could do double good. We could do the apparition. That's kind of cheating. Double Soul Forge is pretty good. Because it upgrades them, right? No. Oh, it's Brain Drain that upgrades. Cheese Demon, remember the Prime sub again? Thanks for the 25 months. I don't believe we can duplicate an Essence card. We can only duplicate the cards in the main deck. Let's get rid of that stupid Muddle card. You are annoying me. Brain Drain is kind of cool, too. I'm going to do a Soul Forge. Card draw is always welcome, that's for sure. And we'll keep the rest of the money as we do need to break the keys momentarily. And that will cost a lot of shards. Or souls. Onwards and upwards. Or downwards? Unchained Agent, thanks for four months. Cheese Demon just reminded you about your prime. Good. Excellent, even. Might as well play this, I guess. Play Merchant? Surely we should fuel the fire. Zoom a collected card. So here's the thing. There's nothing to exhume. 
We'll block a lot with stash away. This looks kind of bad. That's right, we do have <clears throat> Spheric Guardians to get back, I guess. Okay, let's do this, this. I guess this. I guess so. Take some damage here. Ow. Terrifying. Is this goodbye? Might be. Relatively short on block options at this time. One might say we did this to ourselves. Shoot. Geriatric Millennial, thanks for the 11 months of support. Our music is still broken. Hmm. Too much nonsense going on is what's happening. Do I have a way to exhaust that? I don't. This is pretty bad. I guess we have reliance on the merchant card to save us. I don't see a lot of other ways to do this. Okay. Three damage to all enemies when we play an attack. Well, that was good. Yeah, Merchant has to save me. What do you got, Merchant? Violence. That's good. Also, if we exhaust this with Purity, we draw some cards. Four energy left. Six temp health. Reptomancer also summons a Torchad that applies poison. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Excellent. Stash away is here. Hmm. I think we just stash away, get two energy next turn. We're still in it to win it. For now. Although we're not in it very much. We're trying, okay? We're doing our best. Goodbye. There's <laughs> so many dagger essences that we can get. I will take Reptomancer. Bag of tricks. Start of each combat, draw two collected cards. Cool. A very cool. All right, we're going to grab the chest. And then we are going to... Oh, no. <laughs> All right, never mind. Shoot. I guess we're stuck without music for the rest of the run. Unfortunately, if you're a Twitch chat. Uh, so what was that? Oh, no. So if this button says exit game instead of save and quit. It means it. You are not going to save. I I'm not 100% sure what causes this. But it means that if I choose to exit the game, we lose the entire run. It's just vanished.
Do we want to collect? Or uh, get rid of any of our collected cards, rather. I wouldn't mind losing the Acid Slime at this point. Let's lose Acid Slime. Does this take our action? Let's find out. Yes, that takes the fire. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Does Downfall have any fights where you're surrounded? I don't think so. Don't think so. That's a lot of temporary hit points. Cool. Very cool. I could put on some other music now, uh, but the problem is anytime Spire queues up a new music track, we're, it's going to immediately start playing and we'll have two musics going at the same time. There's like all sorts of problems happening here. <laughs> Ring the bell of doom. Just ring it. 15 block. Oh yeah, I guess we could just turn the music volume off. Sure, you know what? Let's go with the uh, tried and true Dust Force. That'll give us some music. I know that one's nice and safe. There we go. Yeah, I can't have no music. That is uh, agreeably bad. And we'll try to uh, zoom to the rest of the run here as best we can. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, you stinky, stinky maw. What's your card? Deal 32 damage. Kind of a cool card. Play any instruments? I do not, no. I have no musical talents to speak of. very strong very quickly. Chomp. We still have blur. You are mine. I could finally use Seed of Doubt more effectively. Let's do that. Perfect.
Hmm. The dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Cryptic Zen. Hmm, what do I have for us today? Fire. So much going on on screen here. Tenor recorder virtuoso. That's Papa for you. <laughs> Of a music themed pun joke here. Coming up dry. Actually, why weren't the musicians' puns appreciated? Because they were too offbeat. No refunds to a shot. Dark Lord form? No, let's go uh, Pyromancy first. Dark Lord form next turn. Wait a minute. Dark Lord form is ethereal? Didn't actually notice that. Hm. Too many keywords, man. Next turn, gain a talk. Love it. Tick tock. Sure, give me a talk. Turn gain a head crush, 70 damage to all enemies. Look at that art. Hold on, we gotta put that in our hands so I can properly admire the art. It's great. Talk. Ah, uh, we gotta stash away though. Stash away, stash away, stash away all. Beautiful. Bonk. Crushed by his own gigantic head. Could add that if you want to. For real, real. Thorn Whip. When you obtain this card, gain essence. That's kind of cool. I definitely want another Seed of Doubt. Seed of Doubt seems very good. I guess we're going to this merchant. Play status cards with the medical kit. Or we can remove a card. Or we can do nothing.
<laughs> That's amazing, Steve with a B. The dad humor begins young. <laughs> And I'm just not expecting to have any status cards in the first place. So I don't think it'll be relevant. There's no room. Bunkhead. Another repulsor is probably worth it, too. Could take an upgraded somber shield if we feel like we need more block. Probably I do, but it's all good. One final upgrade for the road. Upgrade the apparition. And fight the silent with her bag of knives. An oddly calming music. The silent is all about ninja relicking, shuriken, ornamental fan, and kunai. Spooky stuff. You are mine. You are goodbye. Let's just do that right away. Your card is Storm of Steel. Of course it is. Enjoy your doom! a bit too much damage, don't you think? Oh, I see. Bank of Knives. First time you play a card costing two or more each turn. Silent like gains shivs. I think I missed that. Initially. That's a lot of shivs. Too late now, buddy. 
GG. Silence down. But that's not all that opposes us on the way to Act 4. There's also him. The merchant. The soulless husk. Doesn't have a special card yet. Wait, what? Oh, he totally does. Merchant does have a special card, except we've already collected it. So I guess the merchant has lost their essence? Question mark? Or maybe it's just the revived merchant has no card. Interesting. Either way, cool. So I get, I get this. Soulless Husk Plus. Two strength, two decks. is pretty good, actually. It's also power. Gotta love powers. Get punched. Remove all your block. There's Merchant. Have some Doom. Okay, still retaining block for a bit. Bomb is going off, so we do need to block this turn. I really like enough room in hand to actually play Merchant, but I don't think I can. I guess I can do this. Cool. Free, I'll take that next turn. I like it. I'll take that. just gets so many cards, period. Dark Lord form is still in the draw pile, huh? Interesting. Not a bad time to be intangible, quite frankly. Let's just do that. is going off this turn. We have exactly enough to block it. I think we just play goodbye and the merchant will die. I think that was 10 more damage than I thought it was going to be. Either way, good fight. We're on to Act 4 here. With our suitably enthusiastic music. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A comforting heartbeat can be felt throughout the room. Are you at the end? Is your purpose fulfill it? You feel something evil at your very core. You give 1,706 souls back to the heart. It squirms in elation, pounding forevermore. Not sure what happened to our potion chance display there. I don't think I quite understand how we got to 110 either. Arise, chicken. So we faced the three bosses that we'd faced previously in a three-on-one fight. They're a bit weaker than before, but they're also supported by Meow. Go ahead and drink our regen potion in this fight. 
Ooh, what a good turn for thieves. And Lego Villain. Cool. So how this fight works is that um, when you kill each of these nerds, uh, they provide buffs to everybody, including the player. Uh, so we should be able to torch head into playing the other powers, right? We have another, no other ex normal cost cards here. So we can play all of these powers. That's really good. Let's see, you give Vigor, Rugged and Vulnerable, Thorns. I don't really want to deal with Thorns. Kill you first, I guess. Oh yeah, and we're exhuming a card. Whoops. That's fine. Whenever you draw or exhaust a curse, get block. Hmm. Get some offensive presence developed here. Guess all spirit guardians though. It's already at ten doom. And agreed. Here we go. Green fire. Didn't originally want to kill Silent first, now it's tempting. Let's do it. So everyone gets thorns and get including me here. Oh look at that, the horseshoe completely shutting down that nonsense. Amazing. Too good. Well, 31 measly hit points. Deal 19 damage for each collected card played this combat. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is tr 28 times 9 damage, apparently. GG, nerds. I'll take a real talk to the hand. And a pair. Dark Apotheosis. Upgrade the collected pile. Hell yeah. That's cool. Sp and regular Apotheosis. It just seems appropriate, actually. <laughs> I 
I like the the side by side arts actually. That's that's well done. Yeah, you kind of just have to, right? What else could it possibly be? <laughs> Don't release a card. Uh, upgrade, upgrade regular apotheosis. What is dark apotheosis upgrade to? Probably zero cost, right? Yeah. Invincible. Meow. When Yao uses a buff, she gains six strength, two thorns, five mantra, and adds a decay into our draw pile. Meow is limited in how much health they can lose per turn, but also gains three HP whenever we play a card, problematically. Uh, and that the damage, the healing that Meow gets from their passive doesn't negate the damage cap. So if you're actually trying to play too many cards in one turn, you can really end up in a weird situation against Niao. Niao's card is called End Game. Remove the enemy's invincible buff and stun them. Cool. Give me that. And I can even just play that immediately. Although I think we can use uh, Mummified Hand to cheat it into play here. As I have four powers in my hands. Let's just play the defend first. What? That didn't work out. <laughs> Never mind. Rip end game, I guess. Thought that was going to go differently. We can exhume it, though. Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe we can exhume it. Okay, we can't let Dark Lord form go also. That gets played. For real, real. Okay, Lagavulin and Thieves are very good finds. We should drink this too. Well, that was rude. At least it worked out kind of okay. That was definitely rude. Guess I'll just stash away. It's gonna be nasty, your multi-attacks later. Again? Come on, man. And all my cards are now ethereal, too. Thanks, Haunted. The curses that Niao adds in this fight can be hot nonsense. So I guess we have to play goodbye. Our whole deck is gonna, our whole set of cards are gonna go here. Upgrade everything. I'll take that. Let's get rid of this stupid card. Good talk. 116 Doom is pretty dang solid, though. All these curses. Once again, everything is now ethereal. So our apparition became ethereal again. We've gone full circle.
end game. It's here. Doom. 200 Doom. Get collected. The bell tolls for thee now. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.